All right, class, let's look at case two, our second example. Write a truth table for not A and B in parentheses or A. Another way to read this is the quantity not A and B or A. There are two simple statements A and B within it, so we must test the compound statement for every possible combination of A and B. Thus, the first two columns of our truth table will be the possible values of A and B. Do you know already? Does this look familiar? The first one is true, true, false, false. The second one is true, false, true, false. Note that this takes into account all four possible combinations when both statements are true, when just A is true but B is false, when just B is true but A is false, and when both are false. This should be looking familiar by now. Note, <clears throat> we begin to evaluate the compound statement one step at a time. So here's our compound statement moving from the innermost set of parentheses outward. So to write a truth table for not A and B in the parentheses or A, we're going to start within the parentheses. We're first going to evaluate not A, then we will do not A or B, and lastly we will do this whole thing in parentheses or A. So the next column in the table will be not A, which we get by negating the truth value of A. Here's A, not A is simply you change the true to false and the false to true. So the true becomes false, the true becomes false, the false becomes true, the false becomes true. This is A, this is not A. Again, our question says write a truth table for not A and B or A, or the quantity not A and B or A. Now we can evaluate the whole thing in parentheses, the not A and B, by taking the values for not A and B and applying the truth table for and. Remember the little hat thing? That's the and. <clears throat> in the first row, not A is false. So let's look at the first row. In the first row, not A, so here we're looking here, is false, and B is true. So the statement reduces to false and true. False and true, which is false. So false and true is false. So we put a false in that row and continue to evaluate the other three possibilities. Let's look at the second row. So not A is false and B is false. False and false, remember here it's not false and true anymore. False and false is false. Here we have not A is true and B is true, so true and true is true. And here we have on the last row, not A is true and B is false. So true and false is false. Now let's go to the last column. Recall that our question said to write a truth table for the quantity not A and B or A. So finally, we can evaluate that statement by applying the or truth table. In the first row, <clears throat> so let's look at the first row. Note that our statement is stated here in case you want to refer back to it. In the first row, not A and B is false. Now, what are we doing as our second part? We're doing not A and B in a quantity or A. Look where A is, it's all the way back at the beginning. So we're doing not A and B or A. Well, that breaks down to false, then the or, and the true. False or true is true. So false or true is true. Let's continue and do the other rest of the columns. So false and true is true. True and false is true. And lastly, false and false is false. This completes the truth table for the second example. Let's summarize. In short, we complete each new table by applying the truth tables for the and, or, if, then, and not statements using the examples that we were shown in the first video, the video part one. By evaluating one operation at a time, following the order of operations, and one combination of truth values at a time, we make the problem looks complicated to begin with, but we make that complicated problem manageable. Good luck to you!